Alright, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be looking at part number three and worksheet number one. Part number three is a little unique in that we have to do it in two steps. If I'm looking at part number three, you can see that my front view is missing. My front view would look something like this, and then this corner gets cut out. We're going to start out by first creating this outside shape. To do that, I've got a box that is five inches wide by two and a half or 2.5 tall. So I've got my on shape opened up. I'm going to create a new one, document. I'm going to label it part three. Again, I'm going to start a new sketch on that front view. It doesn't matter which view you use. On the left hand side, I'm going to turn these three eyes off and click on my front view. And I'm going to start out again by creating this outside box. Two and a half. I use this point right here as my start point. Line tool. My center point. Going down, I make my first click, type in 2.5. And it goes to the left, I make a click, click in 5. So, make a click, type in 2.5. And then back to my start. So there's the main outside shape of your object. I've got my finished sketch. I'm going to go to my isometric view. My extrusion. I look at my part. My extrusion from the front to the back. It's one and a half or 1.5. So I click my extrude. Click my shape. I'm going to type in 1.5 and hit enter. Right? There's my basic shape. But if I look at my blueprint, my corner here needs to be cut out. So I'm going to add a new sketch to that front view. Sketch on this view. Again, I'm going to switch to my front view. I'm going to use the rectangle function from this point, right? This is where this corner needs to be cut out. Notice this box is highlighted. That allows me to type in that number. In this case, this width is 2.5 or 2.5. Now it switches to my other number, which is 1 and a quarter or 1.25. Hit enter. There's that corner. I can hit finish sketch. Again, I switch to my isometric view. Right, I can see my box is there. I'm going to click extrude again. Click on that box I just created. Well, this is adding material. If I look at my part, it gets cut out. So I'm going to switch it to remove. And my removal is 3 fourths or 0.75. Hit my green check. And there's my part, part number three.